Hello everybody, this is AK. I'm back. So today we look at one of my investments in the past and that is SETS. Um, I sold my investment in SETS uh, last year early in February um, because I didn't want to get involved in the rights issue. Um, and I got out at um, I think about three dollars and ten cents or I think closer to three dollars and twenty cents between three dollars and ten cents to three dollars and twenty cents per share I can't remember exactly how much it was um, but I remember a book again uh, very fortunate um, there was a spike in its um, share price in early February last year for some reason after the announcement that they were going to uh, buy WFS and um, like I always say there's no accounting for Mr. Market's mood swings and uh, I didn't want to have to bother with the proposed rights issue especially when I use my SRS money to invest in sets right and I older readers on my blog would know that uh, what I use my SRI's money to invest in, I invest in companies which I think that won't have any rights issue, right? Because with SRI's money and CPF money, if there's rights issue, it's really very troublesome, right? And I'll leave a link in the description box below uh, to a blog post that I shared uh, in 2017 about my SRI's investment portfolio. Right, so I was careful to invest my SRS money only in endowment policies and businesses which I thought would never have to do equity fundraising by issuing rights. And um, the matter of uh, WFS, I say, is like sex was a snake trying to swallow an elephant. Uh, after the acquisition, they will have a lot of debt on. Um, and they wouldn't be paying any dividends and they haven't been paying any D dividends uh, until now. <laughs> yeah, because uh, SETS is fine, has finally turned profitable after all these months uh, after the acquisition of WFS and um, they have declared a dividend of 1.5 cents. Wow. Yeah, so um, some people might be wondering, well, is this a sign that SETS is finally turning around, you know, from loss making to finally being profitable again? And is this the time to uh, get our feet wet again? Well, SETS is uh, now trading at a much lower price than when I sold it, right? Um, it's now, I think, like, what, 260? 260 a share? Um, and, well, we will, if we were buying now, we'll be betting on sets doing much better in the future and that it would be able to restore dividends to a much higher level. Um, but at the current price of about 260, you know, you're talking about dividend yield of something like half a percent. Half a percent. And from a company that's still very much indebted and, um, I think the share price has to come down a lot more before I'm interested again. I mean, at the current price, you know, talking about PE of like 25 times. My goodness, you're valuing, you'll be valuing, well, Mr. Market is valuing sets right now like a growth, growth stock. <laughs> 1.7 times book, 20 plus times price, uh, uh, price to earnings ratio. Um, no, nah, no. Nah. Uh, I, I, I think I will wait, right? Uh, yes, transform from loss making to profitable company. Yes, uh, but let's see how things pan out later on. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about uh, is REITs. Um, a viewer asked me um, any thoughts on REITs like Impact. Impact is of course Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust. Right, so um, I didn't like the merger that took place uh, just off the record. Um, 
it's like all this maple tree and all this uh, tamasic thing uh, they like to link a good and a bad together you know to dilute the bad <laughs> okay I didn't say that uh, <laughs> anyway uh, so maple tree pen Asia commercial trust well I did make a video not too long ago about why don't why we should uh, why we might not want to invest in REITs unless dot 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 right uh, I, I will leave a link to the video in the description box below in case you have not seen the video or in case you have forgotten and want a refresher right so um, I don't like their properties in Hong Kong and China uh, those territories are not having a good time right now and uh, I'm talking from experience I mean my own investment in Capital Land China Trust right oh my goodness uh, it's very badly impacted um, the only way this uh, trust would do well again is when the China story uh, becomes a positive one again it might take a long time to recover like what Mr. Piyush Gupta say the problems are very entrenched and um, it's not going to turn around within the next year or so definitely it's going to take some time right and a consensus is like three to four years and some experts even say might take up to 10 years for things to improve well we are uh, we, we shall see okay um, but apparently MPEG uh, recently saw a property uh, not in China or Hong Kong they saw a property uh, in Singapore uh, on Anson Road I believe and a and that is to reduce debt right and uh, remember what I said about uh, if we have to invest in REITs now please look at the balance sheets right if you don't look at the balance sheets you might end up having a manual life US REIT or <laughs> a prime US REIT uh, on your hands or hopefully not an eager hospitality trust but of course eager hospital hospitality trust was fraud uh, I believe it was fraud uh, okay I'm rambling I'm going off uh, tangent anyway so any uh, Maple Tree sold a 19 story office building in Tanjong Paga. So uh, apparently, that has brought down its gearing from 40.5% to 37.6%, which is more palatable. I think it is uh, safer. Um, and uh, well, interest coverage ratio is like 2.9 times. Okay. Uh, and after they sell this building, I think the interest coverage ratio will become 3.3 .3 times. So much healthier looking bad balance sheet. Huh? Um, but still, if we look at MPEC, right, uh, it's trading at like 14 times PE ratio, 0 0.7 times book. Dividend yield 7.5%. Like I said before, you know, go and watch the video I produced on why I'm not invest why I'm not adding to my investment in REITs um, like I mean g given those kind of numbers right I'm, I might as well just invest in the banks right so anyway that's just AK lah. if AK can talk to himself so can you bye bye